everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Novel Idea. My name is Dia and this is Poppy. And today I want to go over my October plans with you. So in October, we have so many events and everything on booktube and I love to participate in them. Uh, Victober is always one of my favorite times of the year, but I don't usually follow the prompts exactly. I just love to read Victorian literature. So I'm doing more of that this year. We are just going to jump into it and we're going to talk about all of the plans. I feel very ambitious with how many, how many buddy reads, group reads, that kind of stuff I'm doing this month. So, okay. So we have, um, a few things that I am reading with other people. And then I have a few things that I might be reading just myself if I have time, which I think I will, but my reading this last month slowed down quite a bit. The month before it slowed down quite a bit. I don't care, honestly, how much I read in a year, <laughs> just so long as I'm reading things that I really am enjoying. So with that being said, let me tell you about the first buddy read that I will be doing. I'm going to be reading Jerome K. Jerome's On the Bummel with Rainy Day Reads and Beautiful Minutia. We read uh, Three Men in a Boat to Say Nothing of the Dog last year and we laughed hysterically through most of it. We're hoping for more of that this year. And we decided last year that we were gonna do On the Bumble this year. So we are all in, we're ready for it. So that is my first commitment that I will be participating with. Another one that I have is Kristen Lavernstatter. This is a book that I have been wanting to read for so long and it is by Sigrid Unstead or Unstead. Uh, and it's three books in one. So we are going to be taking one book at a time. We being Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia and I are going to be reading one book in October, one book in November and one book in December. So the first book is our October read and uh, we're gonna, just see how much we love it. I'm I'm believing that we're gonna really, really love it because everybody that I have talked to has said that it's just a wonderful story. So we'll see. Okay, you are being naughty. Lay down and be good, okay? You wait. In case you can't hear, I am feeling better I'm not 100%, but I am so much better than I was. So the next book, also reading with Tiffany and with Chrissy from Chrissy's Purple Library, and we would love for you to join us, is we are doing a read along of Charles Spurgeon's Honest Faith or The Clue of the Maze. And um, we will be doing it for the whole month of October. I will leave a link to all of our announcement videos down in the description box, but we have it lined out for certain chapters or certain thoughts uh, per week. And then on Saturdays on Tiffany's channel at 7 p.m. Eastern, so 4 p.m. Pacific, we will be uh, having live shows to discuss what we have read so far. So, The Clue of the Maze or Honest Faith by Charles Spurgeon. This is also great for Victober because Charles Spurgeon was a Victorian uh, preacher in London during Queen Victoria's reign. 
continuing with Victorian, uh, I am going to be reading Dickens Land. I bought this book recently and I immediately thought that I would do it for Victober. It sounds so interesting and it goes throughout London um, pointing out places in Dickens novels and talking about those places in both present day and what they would have looked like back then and all of that kind of thing. And it, it just, I love Charles Dickens novels. I love his characters. I love the sense of place. And so I'm really excited to read more about that those places and be able to really connect even on a different level with his books. Um, I will be reading again with Tiffany. We are making up for lost time here. We haven't had hardly anybody reads all year. And last year, I think we read like 30 books together. We haven't had but maybe one or two so far this year. And uh, so we are going to be reading Wilkie Collins' Poor Miss Finch. I know nothing about this book. I just know that when I read so I have read two Wilkie Collins. I have read The Moonstone and I have read The Woman in White. And I reread The Moonstone a couple of years ago and really didn't think it was that great. And then I reread The Woman in White and I had so much fun. I read it with Reed Becca and I had so much fun and was just so impressed with the writing and so impressed with the little suspenseful thriller type things in it. I'm really looking forward to this. I want to find out if this is another of his sensational novels or if it's a more, you know, kind of laid back one. I don't really care. I just am looking forward to reading it with Tiffany. Another book I do not have physically but I will be listening to it is The Trumpet Major by Thomas Hardy. Tiffany's Patreon uh, chooses a book every other month to read together and this is the one that won the poll. And I am not a Thomas Hardy fan but I have heard good things about this so I am going to give it a try but I didn't want to buy the book. so. I actually used an audible credit and I'm just going, going to listen to it and see how I get along with Thomas Hardy on in this particular novel this time. Okay, um, one that I just added to my shelf and one that I think I would like to read for October because of Victober is Dorothy and William Wordsworth's Home at Grasmere. This is extracts from journals that the two of them kept about their home, about their life. And it also has some poetry by Wordsworth in it. So I, ju I just think it would be lovely to read some of this during Victober. So that's what I'm going to do. I think this is gonna be pretty special. I have a group that I read fantasy with uh, oftentimes and a couple of months ago, quite a few months ago now, I think May might have been, we read Sabriel by Garth Nix together and uh, we had plans to read the second book and life came along and, and upset those plans and so um, we have been kind of waiting on Gemma and San, I mean on Gemma, on Jack and Sandy to get finished reading a, a Buddy Read that they're doing right now. And once they're done with that, then we were going to jump into Lyriel by Garth Nix, which is book two in the Old Kingdom trilogy. And it would be a reread for me, but I believe it's a first time for all of them. We, I don't know for sure it's going to happen in October, but I'm 75% thinking it's probably at least going to start in October. So 
there's that one. I have by Rowan and You. This is by M Melissa Harrison. And this is a story about little people in the forest and the forest as it changes and uh, the, the ways that it changes and what each season brings us. And so that's what this one is, and I'm very excited about it. And this illustration on the cover is done by Lauren O'Hara. And Lauren is uh, a children's book illustrator. She usually illustrates books that her sister writes. She's done some separately but she usually illustrates things that her sister writes, but these books are also illustrated by her. And I just love her style and her sweet little faces that she puts on her characters. And I am so looking forward to diving into this and seeing all of her little illustrations at the beginnings of chapters and at the change of books and it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to that one. I thought that I would also pick up The Barnum Museum by Stephen Milhauser. This has a lot of short stories in it so I'm going to read at least a few of them. I may not read the whole thing but I thought that I would read at least a few. And then I have a bunch of books that I have placed on hold at the library and whichever ones come in I will be trying to read as well. So I have The Whisper Wicks by Jordan Lees and I have Spiderwick Chronicles. Uh, one, I, I think I have one, two, and three on hold. And then I also have book three I don't remember the name of the series. I'm gonna make sure to put a picture up, but by Kendare Blake, and it's Two Dark Rains. It's a YA fantasy, and I'm not sure that I'll continue after the third book, but we will see. I also have Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. I have Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. I have The Black Witch by Forrest. Oh, what's the first name? I don't remember the first name. I have A Sorceress Comes to Call by T. Kingfisher. And I have Minor Mage by T. Kingfisher. So um, any and all of those I would love to read uh, if they come in during the month of October. So we'll just see how much I get to. The, the buddy reads and the group reads and the read-alongs are priority. And so those ones I will definitely be reading. But the other ones I'm going to just put in here and there wherever I can. And I'm really looking forward to October. I hope all of you are looking forward to it as well. I'd love to know if you're participating in any of the events. I am going to try to do Charlene from Coffee and a Book. I'm going to try to do her uh, scavenger hunt as I read. I've already started that. And then also this month, Chantel Reads All Day is doing like a cozy cottage read along and I have the prompts printed off for that. So I'll see if I can't do some of those as well. So very, very excited. I hope you're all experiencing lots of autumnal weather and are enjoying your weekend so far. And I think that's everything for me. So I will just sign off and say like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to. Bye everyone.